All right, so if you want to pass anything from the parent component to the child component, then you can use the properties for that. Well, basically properties, we do have a properties which are also called, you know, props. Uh, props are like uh, an attribute of an component. Like you can pass the value like this, id equal to one two three inside your you know all the components right and you can pass anything uh inside the prop props like uh, any primitive value any non primitive value if you want then you can pass the function as well right so you can pass any primitive or non primitive value inside props so let me come over here and write const list equal to you know let's create an array with the name of john david and jane and let's pass this array to our list component and we can do something like this list equal to list well obviously i am and naming it as list you can be able to do it whatever you want like the data or something like this right so we have learned that how can we pass the props inside our component but the thing is how can we receive the props inside our list component well for that we can do something like this props and if i come over here and write console dot log props then let me inspect it you will notice one thing that inside the object we are getting our list you know we are getting the list of array inside this object right so let's come over here and destructure our props our list from these props list equal to props or if you want you can destructure it here as well list and now what i will do i will write list dot to string so you can notice that we are getting our john david and jane so let me come over here and add one more thing like javascript and you can notice that we are getting JavaScript as well, right? So uh, let me tell you one more thing. Uh, for example, if you want to, you know, call any variable or if you want to define any variable inside the JSX, then you can pass it between the curly braces, right? So for example, I have a list which is coming from the props and over here what I am doing basically I am converting the list to the string using dot to string method of an array right uh, so what it will do it will convert the whole array in a raw string format right so you can be able to do that uh, uh, inside the curly braces right so this is how the props work uh, in react application so let me show you one more thing I am creating a call, you know function with the name of alerting equal to alert from we can say parent component right and we can pass the function in a prop as well so i will come over here and write alerting and alerting i will assign the value as an alerting and obviously i will destructure the alerting as well and if i want then let me invoke this function then you can see that we are getting our alert and we are calling this alert from the child component so you can pass anything inside the props uh, whether it is a primitive value whether it is a non-primitive value if it is a function so you can pass all these things inside a prop so this is how the props work inside the you know react application i will see you in the next one have a nice day